Last chapter, we joined the party just as they began their four-day journey to Mapmore, a small farming village close to the outskirts of the Marquis of Beak, which had been overrun with vampires according to the Adventurers Guild. The party travelled as quickly as they could to get there, and arrived under the cover of nightfall. Usually an advantage, but here, a major disadvantage. They waited for the morning sun to rise, only to find that the vampires in the night had began burning a pile of corpses and debris to shroud the village in smoke. The group fought their way through and ended up at the doorstep of the biggest house in Matmore, where they believed the leader was. My name is Ashley, and I play Low Bard. Hi, my name is Bree, and I will be playing Kyrie. Hi, I am Nyx, and I'll be playing Avani. Hi, I'm March, and I play Flint Bright. Hi, my name is John, and I'll be playing Gooey. And I'm Rob the DM, and welcome to the Homebrew. Inside, you can hear shuffling feet and such, but it's you could probably make out the sounds of at least three sets of feet kind of shuffling around on hard wooden floor. Feel free to carry on if you guys want to stop and heal up before you press on or just push straight in. It's up to you. Gooey's gonna just grab the section of fence that was sort of in between him and just healing mantle, just break off pieces of it and absorb it. You're also um, next to a bush, so that kind of shrivels up. Nah, so. oh yeah, fair enough. And Gooey's hit points now go up to 31. Okay. He is. Gooey's... Did you just use a healing potion? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Flint, do you need to use one, or...? Probably. He will just hand you. Actually, he was just gonna take one out of their bag and just throw it at you. Oh yeah, because you've got extra, haven't you? Gonna uh, walk up to. Ah, uh, god then. Walk up to Gooey and just apologize for burning him. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. He just turns around, <laughs> eyes narrow, and half of the face just turns blood red. <laughs> and just two fingers oh, up to blushing. the eyes and just what. Two of them point to the yacht mask. <laughs> Be careful where you aim next time. My discs can also go astride. All right. Shall we? I, does anyone else need healing? Oh, um, yeah, I was about to ask. Does anybody else need healing? Are they good to go? I mean, Flint, did you use a potion? Yes, I'm now. I'm now pretty good. Perhaps maybe the rest of you who have he who have holy oil should apply them to your weapons. Yeah, I have a grenade, so. Oh yeah, you did buy a grenade. I got you? a holy water grenade. Mine's Nothing still going, right? Um, you've got about uh maybe a minute left on it. Oh, that's fine. We just need to go quickly. We should probably go inside then. We. We. Hmm, we can like throw some of our grenades inside and just hope that it does the work for us. Oh no, we need the ears, don't we? Fuck. Yes, that would be an unadvisable move. More like an emergency plan, if anything. I agree. Hmm. Well, I guess we just go and gums a blaze and then. Hopefully, there's guns. no civilians. <laughs> I have a gun, it's fine. <laughs> You've got a rotary grenade launcher. <laughs> I have a tiny handheld cannon. Yes, please don't yeah. fire that next to us, please. Oh, but it's fun. I'm like just kind of like jokingly points it at people, even though he knows he shouldn't. <laughs> oh, fire. It's Safety's fine. off. It's, Danger. it's fine. Okay, I guess we head in. Yeah. I want to immediately hunt as Mark the first, like, you know, the biggest one I can see. Okay, as you uh, all... Oh. Actually, before that as well, as we're sort of going, Gooey's going to go in last. Just continue, I'll tell you what I'm doing once I've figured out what I'm doing. So, there is one main door, which looks like it could probably fit three of you, and two smaller side doors. Who wants to go in what door? They all lead to the same room, because it's not big enough for it to have side rooms like that. But who's going in what? There's one to the left. You can have one on the left, three in the middle, and one on the right. Who's going yeah. where? 
Mink, Kyrie in the middle, and then spellcasters on left and right. And so you, Kyrie, up. Flint, middle. Yeah. Spellcasters left and right. So we're splitting up. Sense. Well, it's not so that far. Got, like, There's like five foot in between each door. It's not that bad. Five foot. Okay. <laughs> sure. He's gonna sort of go with um, Ovani and then just sort of twist the ring of polymorph and turns himself into a giant crocodile. Oh. oh. Okay, so what door are you two going? Left or right? Uh, how, can we both fit in the same door? I mean, Gooey's a ooze, so yeah. Oh. Nah, I'm a giant crocodile now, and that's a huge creature. I'm riding... I'm not sure if again. a huge creature would get through a small oh, door. Okay. Well, if that's the case, I will hold off and then use it as <laughs> okay. we go through. Okay. 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 What door are you going, left or right? Um... Right? Okay. Okay, as... You all swing open the doors, kind of, surprise, we're here, fuckers. Uh, Kyrie and Flint, there is a table, like, I couldn't do it on the fucking map, but there is a table in front of you. Uh, Ivani and Gooey, you two have got the right side of the room, um, and the other three are in the centre. Uh, you see an elevated platform in the centre of the room, in which a, like, dark red and black robed... A uh, pale woman is sat on like a throne. There is a big sword stuck in the ground next to her. It looks too big to be hers. You can only assume it was probably the chief of this fucking villages. Um, you do spot three other vampires in this room as well. The tables have got the corpses of some of the villagers kind of laid on it. There's a corpse of a peacekeeper laid on the fucking table as well. There's a corpse of a little girl who is like holding a teddy bear which has been torn. It, it, there's blood everywhere, some broken weapons, plates. In um, one corner there's like broken pottery and the other there's like broken books and stuff like that. Are any of them near the dead kid? Uh, the dead kid's currently on a table. Are any of them near it? You'll see. I mean, are we rolling new initiative? Uh, yeah. Okay. Can we to roll with alligator, with crocodile, or gooey stats? I mean, you're turning once you're in there, right? So probably... Yes. With... Okay, minus one to dexterity, let's go. You watch as gooey begins bubbling almost, and his form just starts stretching and yes. becomes a giant crocodile that Ivani is, he kind of like, as he's transforming, slides underneath Ivani's legs and lifts Ivani up. <sighs> Jesus Christ, Ashley. You got a nat 20 on initiative. <laughs> a march got a nat 1! Let's go! <laughs> Gooey, what's your initiative? 12. Little Bird, you've got 24. Kyrie, you've got 7. Ivani, what about you? 13. Flint, what about you? I, like, I rolled a natural 1. So, as you all enter, the vampire woman sat on the chair kind of looks at you and she goes, Ah, oh, you're the ones that's been dealing with it. Get to it then. And all three of them kind of get their arms ready and you can see their fangs and everything. They're ready to fuck up your shit. Top of the round, little bird. Yeah, let's fucking go, cunt. Hunter's Mark, the one on the left. And then I'm going to fucking run at him. Okay, this will count as difficult terrain. I got 35 feet of movement. Yeah, I know. It's just this <laughs> I, this I will count okay. as difficult terrain. 10, 15... Are you fighting him on the table, or you'd go jump off and attack him? Oh, I'm going to stand on the table. Okay, you're about the same height as him. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to hit him with my fucking sword. Okay. So that first one misses. Oh, and the next one's an 18 plus 8. So yeah, that 26. Uh, so, 20. 20 damage? Yeah. Alright, yeah. As you swing just straight away, a straight line across the chest that just <laughs> into this holy flame. And the vampire just <laughs> pats it out and she's like... No, I want to point at the big ones and be like, you're fucking next. She smirks at you. Good. The one you just landed a hit on, it's their turn. They're going to do a multi-attack and I know how the vampire multi-attack works now. Um, 18? Yeah, that hits. <clears throat> okay, so... 
they go to claw you and then as their arm connects with you you're expecting like a sharp scratch along your arm instead they just grasp onto it and lunge forward to do a bite uh you are hey, now grappled hey Kyrie, how's your wisdom oh uh, shit <laughs> no oh, roll <laughs> wisdom saving throw oh oh brilliant and also Great. rob roll two <gasps> they got a nat 20 on the fucking bite oh oh no oh. It's yeah, well, um, the, the first bro. attack hits, I'm um, Death Blossom. Okay. I'll, I'll be the radius well, it's not tech. It doesn't do damage, it's just a grapple. No, but the second it hit, uh, oh, right. it literally says, uh, after, you can, this spell can only be used after you've been attacked. So, Does a rolled... grapple count as an attack? Yes. Does attack just uh, yeah. damage? No, no, it is an actual attack. Okay. Is it's still biting it? anyways. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah you can also, bite. like, Rule if um, if he bites, then then you do the attack, uh, the uh, death plus main. So fifteen minus one fourteen is my save. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. Did you say wisdom. Yeah, yeah. fourteen. So my my spell save. Uh, you need to do two because it's twenty foot. All oh, right. Yeah, twenty foot uh, radius from you. It's a twenty foot sphere around me. So that's uh, that's that Kessin hits. as well. And yeah. gooey. And gooey. Yeah. What? <laughs> it's <laughs> it's there, 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 and there. No, why did why did Gooey get big? Gooey's a crocodile, an alligator. Too. You. <laughs> you didn't have to. <laughs> yes, I did. Okay. So that uh, one got a fourteen. <laughs> that one got a fourteen. I rolled What's a nine. What's the save? What's the save on it again? Sorry. Wisdom. Yeah. What? What DC? Thirteen. Oh, okay, I just passed. succeed. I got a thirteen. Crocodile <laughs> has a zero to wisdom saves. Whew. <laughs> Jesus. So. Um, I mean, hang on. Uh, you Are take you no damage. None of you take any damage. That guy takes half. Okay. Is that other vampire? And this one, save? yeah. He already did. They both got fourteen. Okay. Um, the one in the center doesn't take damage because he didn't attack me. Yeah. Only the one that attacked me takes damage. Doesn't the rest of us, uh, except for Ovani, also take half damage? No. no. Ovani's in range. You no, only take damage if you fail. Oh, only if you fail. Okay. Or oh, if you attack a little bit. Oh, baby. I rolled. Oh. I rolled a 19, so that's an 18. Oh, yeah. yeah, you're fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I know. Uh, Minus one wisdom, buddy. Six yeah. damage. Six damage. Yeah. Okay. QDA, I rolled one and a five. So on their bite, they got a nat 20 plus six. Oh, yeah. That's. Um, <laughs> hang on, let me check. Like, yeah, I hang think on. 26 um, might hit you, just maybe. Yeah, just, actually. Only yeah. by one number. So yes, the, the two is the number, but... It's all the dice doubled, right? Yes. Yeah. All the dice rolled. Hunter's Mark's concentration as well, so you'll... Yeah, to the... that's gonna fall. Yeah. So it's that is... it's uh... ten or half of... Whatever the damage is, halved, whichever is higher. As yeah, it's see. con save, isn't it? Yeah. I just realised I have to do it for Polymorph, so oh, this fine. I've got fun. Oh, I just got rolled a 19 plus one, so... Well, they did 21 damage to you. Uh, oh, so it's only 10. DC 10. I rolled a 19 and I got a plus one to con. Damn. Uh, 21, so I'm at... 14. Yeah, 14. That's and a big they thing. recover 8 health for the necrotic damage. Uh, do you want me to tell you what the HP of the giant crocodile is, or do you want me to just keep track of it? Uh... If you keep track of it, that'd be blind. Okay, I have 85 hit points. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, Dang. they've knocked you down by 20, and now got more health than they did when they started attacking you. To be fair, I also <laughs> did more damage to them. I, mean, I did yeah. 26, they got 8 back, so fuck them. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, that's going to be their turn. It is now Vampire Swarm 1, which is the one in the center's turn. He is going to come down and go for Kyrie with a, a fucking grapple claw. You get the impression that they're just trying to fucking overwhelm you right off the start. That is a 16, which does not hit on the fucking claw. So he's going to go for another claw. And that's a fucking 10. So he goes to grab you once, and he can't get a leverage in your armor because of how fucking good you keep your armor. And then his second one, he goes to just claw you, and you just kind of move out the way of it. 
And he just looks at you. And... Uh, next is Ivani. What do you want to do? Great. I really hope no one rolls and that one while stood next to giant Gui. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Um, Gui, Vani's gonna use his tidal wave again. Okay. And I believe um, the middle vampire has uh, attacking Kyrie. They're all middle, very uh, androgynous. Yeah, but the, the one attacking Kyrie. Uh, this one? Yeah, that one and then the one in front of Gui should be hit uh, in a straight line if I use tidal wave. So you're using it? Here to go across. That'll be a. That's an awkward angle, isn't it? No, no, um. Wait, I can. Uh, I can just. W use... Wouldn't it hit Gooey? Not you if might, I. You might wash away Gooey! I have a swimming speed of 50 feet. <laughs> You're also <laughs> made of croc. slime! You're I'm a crocodile now, I'm not made of slime. Hole? I'm a crocodile now. I have no form of Gooey anymore. Um, oh, did you use the fucking ring? Yeah. Yes, of course, I needed to. <laughs> So, where are you using it from? Um, from the, the middle one attacking Kyrie to the um, one in front of Gooey. So, like that? Yeah. Okay. It's more of a poon. No, no, it's a straight line. What? Tidal Weaver mm -hmm. is a straight line. 20 feet long, 10 feet wide, and 10 Isn't feet tall. Isn't it over. from you, though? No, it's a no. range of 120 feet. Oh, right. That you can cast it. And yeah. And how wide is it? It is 10 feet long. 10 uh, feet long? <laughs> right, you, sorry. You would get me still. Ah, yeah, because yeah. it'd be... In the yeah. edge. That's fine, though. That's fine. I think that's fine, to be honest. Uh, I, as a crocodile, I'm way stronger. This yeah, is all so. elevated, so the water wouldn't touch it anyway, but the water mm -hmm. does yeah. do that. What's the saving throw? Um, Dexterity saving throw, and then... Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh well. Oh, yeah. Um, deck save. So What's the DC? The DC. Uh, my DC is fourteen. Oh, thank God! I rolled a sixteen <laughs> minus one. Oh, <laughs> so nice. Like fifteen. This one got a thirteen. This one he got failed. a twenty. Uh, he yeah. He, uh, the first one fails. The other one. Passes. Okay. Still take half, though, don't I? Yeah, they still take half if they pass. I rolled a. Um... No, I still take half. Yeah, Gooey also still takes half. Yeah. Yeah. A 17 on damage. And if they fail, so the, the that the middle one that's attacking carry, yeah, that one uh, goes prone. Okay. So. Um... Uh, wait, what was it? 17, did you say? Yeah, 17. 17. Is that halved? Uh, no, that is the full damage. If it's halved, then it's. Um, round on down or do you, uh, do you round up? Uh, we do you round, round up, up or down? Okay, so that would be oh. eight. Yeah, uh, should be nine. Eight. Nine, okay. So, uh, brain, work. Okay, <laughs> need to make constitution saving throw for polymorph. And I also take damage by doing this. I start yeah. bleeding. Uh, yeah, pass it, no problem. Thirteen. Mm -hmm. Cool, I'm not. In me Could y'all just stop attacking me, please? <laughs> hey, to be fair, you made yourself massive. This map is in a, tiny. In a group. Yeah, it's you're tiny. in a small village. I mean, the buildings have to be. Ah, whatever. Let's go. Hey, <laughs> when I want to chomp some falls. If this is a building meant for, like, you know, a small village, this is a pretty sizable fucking room. <laughs> You think about your front room. How many people could you fit yeah. in the front room? That's fine. It's Quite fine. Yeah, yeah, it's end of my turn. Uh, okay, Gooey, it's your turn. I'm gonna chomp some fools. Go uh, first of all, fall. I'm gonna hit the one in front of Kyrie and Captain with my tail, since it's a reach of 10 feet. Okay. So that's gonna be a 18 to hit. That hits. Uh, he also needs to make a strength saving throw. Uh, that is a six. Uh, fails. So, was it's it already, already not, not prone. prone? That's fine. Uh, it takes ba -ba -ba, fifteen bludgeoning damage. Fifteen. Fifteen. Two okay. D eight plus five, and then I'm gonna chomp the one in front of me. Does a twenty-seven hit the one in front of me with a bite? Yeah, it does. Eighteen piercing damage, and the one in front is also grappled. 
And it is also restrained, so its speed is zero, and melee attacks have advantage. Attacks against it have advantage now. Okay. Uh, and that's crocodile. Dunzo. Uh, it is now this guy's turn. Okay, yeah, he's gonna break out the grapple. Okay, so it's a strength. Saving or strength. Yeah. I think it might just be a strength check or a. Hmm. Thirteen. Fails. Right, he's still grappled, then that's his turn over. Mm hmm. Uh, it is now Lady D's turn. Oh, that's not actually her name. No. Good. Okay. She's gonna look around at what's happening and kind of go, well, okay, I guess we're doing this. So she looks at Flint, oh, kind of smirks and winks, licks her lips a bit. She's charming you. I need you to make a but... wisdom saving throw. Oh god, watch me! Thank god, that is a 19 again, so that's 18. Ooh, you passed. Nice. Yeah, of course I do. Hell oh. yeah, for once I'm actually rolling good. Yeah, yeah. She's not getting out of her chair yet. Yeah, uh, no, don't get up. Uh, it is now Kyrie's turn. Can I walk past the person who's prune without them getting an attack of opportunity? Or are they going to uh, grab me? I believe you can, yeah. While oh, they're prone, they have disadvantage on attack rolls, though. Yeah, they can still make it, but then, you know, there's the chance of them hitting you with your AC. Very, very, very slim. While you're next to them, though, you do have advantage on all your attack rolls because yeah, they're prone. Yeah, because they're prone. <laughs> right, I'm going to obviously just walk up to it. Like the little pruned one. I mean, you like... can attack it from where you are. Yeah, but I'm like stabbing it down, Dramatic. doing like the the sword of the stone shit oh, yeah. on the floor. We'll just go for a slush for the head, mm -hmm. make it topple off if we can. Um, I will rule with advantage. I'll divine smite it as well, level yep. one, a nineteen and an eighteen from my advantage. Jesus. I think they both hit. No, it's, this is just my first attack. Oh, right, you brought up. Okay. I know, 10 plus 7, 16. Already on the way. Yeah. Already on the way here. As Kyrie stabs her sword into it, you hear it just screech and then stop and go limp. And it begins from, like, its fingers and, like, around the wound turning to ash. Uh, can I, like, flick the head off? towards us, which is not in the tidal wave. From the angle you're at, maybe? I well, mean, you can just use the rest of your turn and cut off its ears. Has, yeah. Yeah, just use the rest of your turn, cut off its can ears. I use, can I use that as my second attack? What, flicking the head towards you and cutting off its ears? Yeah. Yeah, go for it. I have two attacks. You don't need to roll for it, it's dead. Well, I know. You get a heal. Uh, I can give you the remainder of the five. I'll touch you and give you five from the uh, hands. Is that a bonus right. action? Right. Bonus action, I touch little bird and I give them five HP. Okay. Thank yes. you. I'm now up to 19 out of 45. <laughs> Don't you... Do you not get any... Oh, no, because that's no, only a plus no, max. Yeah, we, we realized that the little bird getting health thing is actually a level six ability, not level five. They do get something similar at level 3, but it's only on long rests. I thought it No, was... short rests, right? Short rests, yeah. Yeah. Uh, right. yeah. Okay. There you go, that's my turn. So though. Little Bird should technically be down another 5 HP, but we're not I talking about I already that. took that 5 off. So, oh, right. who's, keeping, who's keeping track of how many ears we've got? Me. Alright, add two more, and then get yeah, rid I of have. the- we've got 5 worth, I know. And then get rid of the cunt in the middle. Go. <laughs> there we go. Flint, it's your turn. Cool. Uh, I want to move up one diagonally to like the blood spatter where the last guy was. This one, uh, where the knife is. Yes, please. Okay. So I can have a straight shot at her with my crossbow. Okay. Nice. You know. That's a good amount of fireball distance. No. <laughs> Alright. Listen. 
We've Just had enough the... tragedy. We've had I enough... can't talk. <sighs> we've we've had enough tragedy to fireballs. Okay, that is them. Oh Lord. Uh That's eleven to hit. Doesn't hit. Cool. Right, you second attack. Let's release go. the bolt and it hits one of these fucking incense diffusers and it's ting ting and rolls on the ground. She looks at it like, the fuck? Blink just holds the hands like, give me a minute, just loading a second crossbow. <laughs> one moment! I've got one six moment. seconds for this round. Yeah. Um, right, that is a 14 to hit. Doesn't then. hit. Fuck it me. goes the other way and hits the other one off and she Stop. looks at it like, my balls! I'm still gonna start using my, then I'm gonna use my bonus action to start dueling with her, and that's the end of my turn. <laughs> okay. Uh, little bird, start the round. Your go. Oh. Uh, I guess I have to like try and get out of this. That uh, doesn't affect your attacks, by the way. Just so you know. Oh. It just puts your speed at zero. Oh fuck it then. Can I just can I just try and cut him? <laughs> Yeah, you have currently been bit by vampires twice. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh no, I did get bitten twice, didn't I? Yeah. Oops. Uh, well, my first one's 18 plus 8, so 26. That hits. The second one's a 10 plus 8, so 18. That hits. Okay, how much health does this guy have? He doesn't look too beat up. He's definitely... Well, take 35 away. Oh, yeah, this guy's dead. <laughs> As he's pulling away from his bite, you kind of lodge your sword blunt side towards you, the curve around this thing's chest, and just push it through, like, to get the enemy in off, and as you do, it kind of sets back into the wound you made before, and just carries on through, and fucking okay. slices this thing's torso in half, and it just... Uh, if it drops to zero while it's hunters marked, you can move it for free. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna move it to the, the woman. And give me them ears. Okay, yeah, you spend the rest of your turn cutting off its ears. But Varney, it's your turn. Gooey, sort of having this vampire, like, in their mouth, just sort of turns their head sideways, so their he the head of the vampire is literally right in front of your face. Yes, I'm going to, like, move up to this vampire and just hold my hands in front of his face and do tidal, tidal, well, tidal wave, there we go. Okay. Uh, and also try to hit the uh, big girl. Well, she's on an elevated platform. Yeah, that shouldn't matter. I mean, yeah, it, it won't, but it means no water will sit up there. I mean, it, and that's fine. I should okay. be able to hit her with the, uh, just the brunt, uh, brunt attack of the spell. Let's see. So, like that? You want to go for? Uh, yeah. Okay. The vampire that's, back, that's restrained by me has a disadvantage on the saving throw. Yep. So they need to make deck savings for us. Uh, the first one got a 14. The one up here got a 19. Ah, they both pass. Okay, how much are they taking? Yeah, they take half of 22, so 11 both. Okay, so this guy... Water just constantly fucking blasting against his face. Uh... The vampire woman kind of looks at all the water that splashed on her and just kind of smiles. And she just kind of like wipes it off. Oh no, he's a masochist. It's gonna be my turn. <laughs> okay. Uh, next is Gooey's turn. <sighs> Chomp. Okay. Uh, with advantage. Thank Christ for that advantage, Jesus. Uh, that was 17 to chomp that on Vampire that's restrained. Nice. Uh, so that is... Uh, I would be 18, so 9 damage of the resistance. Okay. Da, 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 da. And since they're grappled and restrained by me, and if I'm grappling something, it's half movement, I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna move 15 feet up, or sort of diagonally up to the steps to where the bigger vampire lady is. So, you're going there and there? Ye yes. Or there? Where do you want to be? No, right no, no, there no, or no. there? Y there, yes. Okay. Perfect. And then, you have kind of now just 
<laughs> made it so that Kyrie's got to go exclusively fucking difficult yeah. terrain. Intelligence of two, I'm rolling. With <laughs> I've right. basically gone the polar opposite of Guri now. I'm sort of like, kind of dopely just carrying this guy, and I'm just kind of and just whack the big vampire lady with my tail. Okay. Uh, that's going to be an 18. To hit? Oh, she was full of 10 on that. That was terrible. Uh, so that's... Oh, she needs to make a strength saving throw. That is a 19. Uh, she succeeds, so she's fine. Oh, that's really low. 10 bludgeoning damage. Okay, so that gets half to 5. Yeah. Just there, the face kind of like, don't be. That's it. Okay. Uh, vampire I hope I don't. I hope I don't get knocked off of Guri <laughs> with him chopping. Uh, you did kind of just bring this guy out of the running water. Um, it should still be in range if, because it's an angle towards her. Yeah, but I said the water wouldn't sit in this area because it's on a fucking elevated bit. So eh, just run into intelligence, this it's fine. Um, so, start of his turn, if he's got at least one hit point, isn't in sunlight or running water, um, he regains ten hit points. He is going to break out of your thing with a 22. Yep, he's out of the grapple. Okay, does he get to do his turn or is that his action? Nope. That's his action. Okay. Still move if he wants. Yeah, but then yeah. he'll get attack of opportunity. I he will, is... and I'll bite him again and we'll just grapple him one more time. He is going to stay in your range, but just block people from attacking her. It is now Vampire Lady's turn. 20 points at the start of a turn if they're not in running water or sunlight. And she, again, she's going to look at Kyrie and start charming Kyrie. Kyrie, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. 15. You fail. You now regard the vampire as a trusted friend that needs to be heeded and protected. You aren't under its control, but you will take its requests uh, as the most favorable way that you can. Um, and you are now willing to be bit by her. Uh, you well, can repeat the saving throw. Kind of sitting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you can do the saving throw, I believe it's on your turn, the Charmed, but I can't remember. The end of your turn, probably. Uh, Charmed creature can't attack the Charmer or target the Charmer. Charmer has disadvantage on any ability check to interact socially with the creature. <laughs> I don't know why that's included. I'd like to converse now that I'm their friend. Um, we'll, we'll just say at the beginning of your turn. Because it doesn't specify here. Um, the, otherwise, the effect lasts 24 hours or until she's destroyed, is on a different plane of existence from the target, or takes a bonus action on her turn to end the effect. And she's going to look at you and she's just going to go, deal with these lot for me, would you? It's now Kyrie's turn. Do I got to make it again? Yeah, make it again because it's your turn. 17 minus 1, 16. Oh, you <laughs> fell! Oh. How high is it? 17. Oh my That's god. That's why I was like, oh, oh. oh well. Curry is gonna go. Fuck. Curry is a sub now, god damn it. <laughs> Curry's a simp for this vampire. Yeah. <laughs> yes, mistress. And. <laughs> fucking. She's gonna stroll up to uh, Flint. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna get hit twice. Are you walking in, like here, or are you just staying where you are? Uh, like walking directly to. Okay, so like that. Yeah. Um. Yeah, roll to hit Flint. Fourteen. No, it doesn't hit. The second one's an eighteen. <laughs> that hits. Right. Okay. okay. You're gonna get a branding smite to the face. That's fine. Okay. So take twenty-six damage. <laughs> One health. <laughs> no, I have my my temporary hit point. Yeah, you're at three, at three health. health. That's fine by me. Kyrie I'm... takes out her sword, 
Flint turns around like, wait, what? And Kairi just slashes along Flint's chest and gives him a big cut shoulder to, like, side of the ribs on the other side. Okay. Flint's now got gonna have a cool scar along his chest. You know what, it's worth it. <laughs> I can't even use Slippery as an eel because Gooey's behind me and I need space behind you, me to move. You, you can go you can onto go the on tables. Top. I can't. No, I, I could. You know what, it's fine. I'm, I'm not dead yet. Is that your turn, Kairi? I might be able to do something with my bonus. <laughs> play the, listen, play the character, it's fine. And that's what I'm doing. Play the scenario out. Do it. Do it, do it, do it. I'm just gonna have to walk up to here. As far as I can up to the queen, I guess. Whatever she is. Uh, okay. So, difficult terrain would be 10, 20... I'd get hit, wouldn't I? If you choose to. I mean, those two can try and hit you if they want. Yeah, I'm going to fucking hit Kyrie. Yeah, I want to punch Kyrie in the face. You're going to punch? Swing. Yeah. I want to swing the sword. I'm not going to do anything lethal. <laughs> Does the effect um, of the save, like, repeat every time they get hit? Uh, it That's doesn't say. It doesn't it? No, literally, <laughs> conditions charmed. It just says, charmed creature can't attack the charmer or target with harmful abilities or magical effects. They have advantage on an ability check to interact mm. with the creature. That's all it says. Does it? When does it say repeat the saving throw, though? It doesn't. But you, you, can't even, you can't even make a saving throw again. On, Start of every action round. Yeah. On hers, the vampire targets one humanoid it can see within thirty feet. If the target, uh, if the target can see the vampire, the va uh, target must succeed a DC seventeen wisdom saving throw against this magic or be charmed. Charm target okay. regards the vampire as a trusted friend to be heeded and protected. Although this target isn't under the vampire's control, it takes the vampire's requests or actions in the most favorable way it can, and it is willing to target for the vampire's bite attack. Each time the vampire or vampire's companions do anything harmful to the target, it can right. repeat a saving throw. So it's only when they attack him. What's Kyrie's AC? 21. How much are you hitting for? 19. As you walk past Little Bird, Little Bird just takes out their sword, jabs the end of it into a bit of, like, into a fold of your armor that they know is there, and just fucking hammers onto the end of it, and it just pierces you in the side. Now we're gonna be pissed off when she comes back, but fuck. She would stop. Okay. Uh, Flint, roll your punch, though. No, uh, because if I attack Kari, I lose my duel. Oh, yeah. Your turn, Flint. Right, I don't know what to do because now I know Lazarus is actually a magical weapon. Did you not? Okay. No, I didn't. I thought it was just an <laughs> enchanted. I didn't think it did magical damage. It doesn't, but an enchantment turns a normal weapon into a magical weapon. Right. Yeah, for the like. When you get to the, the nitty and gritty of it, yeah, it counts as a um, magical. Right. When it comes to like advantage or immunity to non-magical attacks, it counts as magical. Yeah. Now that I know that, that's gonna change what I was gonna do because I was gonna stop Kyrie, but I'm not affected by. Kyrie um, would get attacked of opportunity on you if you backed away. I think I'm threatening Kyrie. I mean, yeah, but that's true. That's the choice that Kyrie can make because um, I'm not affected by difficult terrain, so I can get up to her. Yeah. Um. So I'm fuck it. You know what? If I die, I die. I'm at three health. And you're oh. running into the mouth of if the I, monster. If I listen, if I stay here, I die, and if I go up there, I'm gonna die. You've still got one more healing potion. Well, right? you've got to think of who's just attacked Kyrie. I also, I also just don't want to waste the duel. Yeah, that's fair. I don't, I don't want to have to reapply it. Do what you think of the duel. Yeah. Fight the character. Do your worst. <laughs> I think Kyrie's about to fucking put me in the ground, so. Are you going here, or are you going... Yeah, I'm going up diagonally, so and five, I'm going straight. 10, up. 15. Do you want to be, like, here or yes. here? Well, I can't Just hit if I'm not... Attack, attack opportunity. If you want to take it, yeah. But it's your reaction, so... Uh, she would take it. That's the thing. That's, <laughs> that's fine. Roll. It's just a normal, like, attack roll. 18 plus... Yeah, no, that's fine. That hits. Uh, I think you're unconscious regardless. Oh, I am. Is, uh, it, can... is it just a regular attack with my sword? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
It's literally oh. just like you see someone leaving and you get one yeah, less swing in. You don't. It, this puts you under. Like, it's plus seven regardless. I can't. Yeah, yeah. That's, you, I'm under. you're unconscious that's regardless. Right. Yeah. Flint, while trying to run away, Kyrie just puts out a cell of, like, blade end first and just slams it into the wound from before. And Flint just poof, poof, collapses uh, on the table. Okay. The question is would Kyrie attack someone that's currently downed? It wouldn't be a second attack. Yeah, it's a reaction. Yeah, I know, but I mean, when it comes to Kyrie's turn... That's fine, we've got a whole other round to go. Yeah, So, yeah. that's the end I of mean, my turn, then. Fuck. they've been dealt with. <laughs> yeah. That's one of the, There's still one left. Little bird, it's your go. Uh, I think Kill telepathically, <laughs> I'd say to... You can still telepathically communicate with Kyrie. But whether she listens to what you say or not is... <laughs> I don't think I would even bother. I think <laughs> I like the second Kyrie gets strong and starts attacking Flint, like that's it. Um so I think I'd say telepathically to probably Ovani. Like it's just time to get Flint. Uh or try and make sure he's alive or something, or pour a fucking potion in his mouth. Mm -hmm. Um Cool. And then I'd just I'd just keep attacking fucking Kyrie. Yeah, Ovani nuts. That's a miss. <laughs> And that's a hit. Okay. I got a 2 and a 16. Uh, so I got a 10 and a 24. Yeah. 12 damage. And then I probably... With your sword still kind of in there, you twist it. Which, if you've ever seen someone twist a curved oh, yeah. sword in a wound... Oh, yeah. Oh! I'm just opening Kyrie's fucking ribs. Yeah. There's fuck what else I can do. I don't know. My spells are all actions rather than bonus. Except... Hunter's Yeah, I, that's it. Okay, Avani, it's your turn. Oh, great. Okay, so Avani's gonna move one to the left. Slide. In reach of uh, Captain. Yeah. Oh, like that. Um, yeah, yeah, let's do it like that. And um, they're gonna grab their one remaining potion and feed it to Flint from where they are. Mm -hmm. uh, can I also drag Captain Avery? Or yeah, that, but uh, it'll be half movement. Oh, yeah, that's fine. I dragged them on top of the <laughs> the crocodile boar beast. <sighs> oh. Okay, oh, so never ending roll, story. roll your yeah. hit points, Flynn. Nine. Flynn nice. becomes conscious again. Oh, great. <laughs> oh, um, as a sort of a free action, can I sort of squat down towards um, the head of the gooey crocodile and just sort of point towards the big lady? Get him, go get him! <laughs> <laughs> you can do it! Yeah, that's the end right then. Uh, yeah. Is that yeah. your turn? Uh, I don't think I can do anything else except to do Icker Lands or Icker Needles. <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea. That's a good idea, bud! So, yeah, it's my turn. Okay, Gooey, your go. Alright, first of all, because it won't invoke a tactical opportunity if I do this, can I move. It's going to be awkward for you, but Gooey's going to try and, like, rotate, sort of walk sideways uh, up one set of squares. So Captain is kind of turned as far away from... So, like, Captain that. The... Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, sort of turning a bit, um, keeping them all as far so away Flint as possible. I'm a yes. little bit too intelligent. I mean, I still am Gooey regardless. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, but I, that's literally all I can do in terms of movement to get it to the vampire within five feet. So move yeah. on. Clicking on Ivani and it went fucking... So, so you're sliding would... Captain off there? Or... Uh, Captain would be there, Ivani would be one square up to the right, and then Guru would also move one square up to the right. It's like okay. that, yeah. So you would be one square up to ah, the right, which would be like there, right? Move, move up a bit higher, a bit higher, because I up there you go, there you I go. I mean, it's still in that square if it was there. Yeah. Uh, okay, that's move. Well, that's my little bit of movement. Gonna roll to attack the Vimper lady. By attack is a dirty twenty. Uh, that hits. I'll just do both the attacks at once since they're both gonna be on here. Yep. Uh, ooh, uh, seventeen. Uh, damage. No, seventeen to hit with tail. I'm doing oh, both attacks at once, uh, just so I can yes, roll all of it. Strength saving throw first, then I'll do the tail. My mistake. A 13 on strength. 
No, she fails. She's grappled and restrained, so yeah, she you takes... you kind of pin her to the chair with your yeah. jaw. I just get the chair in there as well. <laughs> um, I've already halved it, so she takes eight piercing damage. Okay. And now I will roll the second attack, because that is a natural 20. Thank God! Yes! Oh, right. It's not my best damage. The fight does more, but this is probably very... <gasps> oh, my God. Okay. I rolled a 6 and a 7 on 2d8. So mm -hmm. that's doubled to 12 Sorry. and 14. Plus that together is 26. Plus 5 is 31, so 15 damage. Okay. Uh, oh so my god. 16. 16. 16, yes, rounded up. I'm staying. Um, and yeah, that's. Do you have anything else you want to do with your turn, John? Nope. Done. Okay, okay. Vampire Spawn 2's turn. This guy. Mm -hmm. He's mm -hmm. not in running water or sunlight, so he does regain 10. And he is going to attack you, Gooey, mm -hmm. with a grab and then a bite. The first one is a 16 to hit. Uh, hits. So he grapples you. I'm just thinking because I'm a big thick creature. He grapples your tail then. Okay. Um, and then the bite is a 17 to hit. That hits. 8 damage and then 10. So it did 18 and it restores 10 health from biting and draining from you. Okay, and the concentration check DC of, yep, easy, succeed, 22 con saves, so I maintain crocodile, crocodile form. form. Right, it's now Vampire Lady's turn. Start of her turn isn't in sunlight or running water, so she does still get the fucking extra HP. Oh, brilliant. She is going to, with her bonus action, get rid of the charm on Kyrie. Just, Thank you're, no, you're no fun. And then she is going to, I suppose, technically you're in range of her, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Uh, she is going to multi-attack you. With disadvantage. Yeah, because she's bitten, isn't she? She's going to use her action to break out. Okay. She got a nat one. Yep. But she's going to use... Legendary resistance three times a day. If it fails a saving throw, it can choose to succeed uh, it instead. Yeah. So she okay. does break out. Okay. Change of plan, guys. We running. Nah. Yes. So that's her turn done. She's Don't just worry, gonna kind of. Ask Kyrie. She's just gonna fucking pry your fucking jaws off her and look at you and just smirk. <sighs> um. Now it is. Kyrie's turn, who is not looking so fucking great. Well, so I'm glad you I don't have to do that fucking wisdom no, shit anymore. You still have Lil Fed sword jammed in your side, though. Yeah, can I just look at it? <laughs> just, uh, do you mind? <laughs> yeah, you fucking mind. <laughs> right, so can I sprint up to the... So, oh, that's fine. So that would be 10, yeah. uh, 15. I can make that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, can I sprint up to him, yeah. right? And use Thunderous Smite on my attack. Yeah. Just oh so that you're aware she is technically in this back square here. Yeah, it's just a that's the plan. Camera. That's the plan. Um, Well, little bird, you are lucky you weren't fighting me mm -hmm. for that. Uh, that's 26. Okay, yeah, they both hit. So I crit on the first one. So, right, we'll do we'll do a little bit of damage rolling here. Huh? We'll do a little bit of damage rolling. First attack's 37 damage, right? Is that on and this it, guy here? Yeah, and it pushes him back. It, he needs to make a stop. Uh, I mean, it'd kill him. No, he, he needs to make a strength. He needs to make a strength saving throw. Well, he got a 2 plus 3, so that's a 5. Right, so that knocks him back okay. 10 feet. Well, it bashes him into her, so that would be a... Uh, because you got a nat 20, I'll do a fucking d8 on damage. A 6. Halved because it's non-magical, because it's just blunt, so 3. Yeah, and can I go up and attack her when the remaining a movement? Yes. Does the 21 hit? The 21, yes, that hits her. And then Divine Smite. 
is my last spell slot. Okay. 34 damage. 34? Yeah. Okay. Flint, it's your go. Okay, okay. Can I move up? Is Gooey, does does walking it within the space that Gooey currently occupies... Yeah, it'd be difficult terrain because it's a living, breathing crocodile. I can do 15 feet. Without with ignoring the book brain. Okay, where are you going? Uh, I want to move all the way up and then all the way to the left. So five, ten, fifteen, and then. That oh no! All the way, all the way up. Oh, the way right. Up, so yeah. five, ten, fifteen. Yeah. Twenty. Yeah. Twenty-five. Yeah. So I can hit her there. Let's go. Cool. Decapitate. Her, so watch me fucking fail. Okay, so my first attack against her is a 17 to hit. That hits. Finally! She is also using a legendary action on you. That's 7 damage with Lazarus. Okay. And that's a 15 to hit for my second attack. A 15 doesn't hit. Yeah, that's fine then. I have nothing else I can do because I can't inflict fear because these guys don't aren't affected by fear. Yeah, and she's going to use her action, her legendary action, uh, mm-hmm. to move without provoking attack of opportunity. Mm-hmm. And so she's technically here, so she's going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. As you swing your first sword into her, it cuts across like her fucking arm and stuff as she hisses. An almost like mist just and your second attack misses her because of it. Bad move, cunt. Little bird, it's your gun. Can you move my hunter's back? Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot about that. I just rolled a twenty seven and a twenty. To hit her? Yeah. Yeah, they both hit. Bang it. Seventeen for the first. Thirty one altogether. Okay. So seventeen and fourteen. Yep. She kinda hisses at you very angrily as you carve into her. I do the exact same noise back. Oh yeah, because you can do that. Yeah, it's just mimic. Ivani, it's your go. Oh, it is my strong I apologize to the little bird in advance. <laughs> I'm sorry, little one. <laughs> Ivani's gonna... She's gonna use a legendary action this turn as well. She gets three. Yeah, I'm um, Scorching Ray, third level, so four Scorching Ray bolts. Yep. Heading her way. Seven, twenty-four, eighteen, eight. Miss, hit, hit, miss. Cool. 16 damage. Total? Yes. 16 okay. total fire damage. Free action. <laughs> I'm gonna um, get the attention of Crocodile Gooey and just say, no, no, other way, this way, this way. <laughs> like tapping on the side of his head, like, over there, bud! Yeah, sort of appeal on, on his ears, almost like a... Um... Ears? Crocodile's oh, happy. You slide your fingers into his weird little <laughs> crocodile hearing holes. Well, you sort of imagine how you're like controlling a horse, usually yeah. after reins. Yeah. I'm trying to do that with the crocodile. <laughs> the end of my turn. Okay, so she's gonna use her legendary action now for an unarmed strike on Little Bird. She's just gonna fucking sock Little Bird. <laughs> this is gonna hurt. It's not that bad. It's fucking 1d8 plus 4. It's not too bad. If she hits it. 16. Little Bird's AC is 16. 9 damage. As these fireballs hit her, she kind of recoils. And uses that power and just fucking punches little bird in the gut. Gooey, it's your turn. Question, does the... Because Croc is big, does the, the table still count as difficult terrain? Um... Maybe? I mean, if crocodiles not, are quite low to the ground, aren't they? Regardless of yeah. size. So yeah, probably. Would I be able to just smash through them? Uh, yeah, if you make a fucking strength and pass, say, a 13. How does a 23 yeah, sound? That, hit, that works. 18 plus 5. Yeah. Okay, so this won't count as difficult terrain. No. For this. Okay. In that case, I'm just going to move diagonally down one and use the rest. I think I can use... Yeah. That's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I can get into, like, the 2, 4, the... Actually, yeah. No, you know what? Screw it. Crocodile Goose just gonna spin around and just uh, run towards the vampire and just like nose down, just like kick up Little Bird onto the snout and just attack with Little Bird sort of Roll surfing. a dex for that. Because you're trying to 
kick up Little Bird off a table onto your nose while destroying tables. Uh, only a 13. Roll a d4. Okay. Four. Okay, Little Bird, you take four damage from just general In debris the- fucking smashing against you as Gooey launches you up onto his nose. So you want to be... I tried to work out now. Ovani will be pretty much top right of your bird. You're there now, right? Or there? I'm I'm there, yeah. Okay, so little bird's on the tip of your nose. Ovani would be here. In the middle. And then I'm just gonna do the two attacks right now. Uh the bite boop, boop, boop. will miss. God damn it. And oh god. Where the How's that work? Okay, uh, so I rolled a two for the bite attack, so there's only a ten, but I rolled a nat twenty for the tail attack. <laughs> Again? <laughs> yeah. I wish I got more damage in, but I'm sorry I didn't. Ten bludgeoning damage, okay. which has already been halved. Is that the end of your turn? Yep. Okay, it's Vampire Lady's turn. Uh, she is going to go for Little Bird, because Little Bird. Oh, is... she needs to make a strength saving throw. My oh yeah, 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 because of the, nat the tail. Huh? For the tail as well. Oh yeah, mine was sitting at 20. <laughs> Bruh. Okay, fair enough. Oh. Right, she is gonna sock Little Bird uh, with an unarmed, but she's gonna turn it into a grapple if it hits uh, and go to bite because she is not looking spicy. Uh, 11 plus 9, 20. So she's I'll grappled you, Little Bird, and then she's gonna do a bite. That's a 21. That's a 9. I'm out cold. Yeah, and then it's three d six necrotic fucking pe- uh, like damage for the suck. The suck. Mm. Oh, but she won't regain from it anyway. So that's twelve. So you're at negative twelve right now, little bird. Uh, I'm at negative fifteen. Okay. So it doesn't insecure because I took nine and I was at six. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So negative fifteen, and she wouldn't really regain anything from it because you're out cold. Yeah. That's her turn. Uh, Kyrie, it's your go. I actually get to her. 5, 10, 15, so. 20, 25. Yeah, you can. There you go. Just get me to her. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Kyrie Thanks. begins floating omnipotently. <laughs> Just, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I am here to slay the vampire. <laughs> yes. It is me here to slay the vampire. Right. Uh, it would just be two normal attacks. I have fucking nothing. Technically, still can. <laughs> hey, stomach. Yeah, yeah. I'll stomach. die really quick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're fine. You've been bitten three times by vampires. Hey, You've got I'm some tasty. serious repenting to do to your god. Fuck, I'm on a look at <laughs> Just listen. You know, sometimes that kind of shit happens when you're hunting these kind of things. Like, right, you need to hunt the undead. This is not my fault. Yeah. Right, the, the two attacks is 21 and 17. 20, uh, they both hit. Uh, yeah, just simple. Bang, bang. Oh! 10-8. Okay, so... 35. How do you want to do this? Oh! You... Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. You, you, you can get one for once. What do you mean? You can choose. Alright. As... Kyrie fucking sees Little Bird go down cold, flint fucking wobbly belly <laughs> standing up. Ivani and Gui somehow doing okay, being the weakest fucking health wise in in the group. Uh, you sprint, leap over this fucking bit here, and just carry the momentum. Run up into the side of her and pierce her along the side. If you remember, piercing the heart would freeze a vampire, and then just yank your blade upwards and like it pierces her like arm to arm and then just slices straight upwards coming out the back of the neck and she just (laughs) 
collapses on the ground. I don't know why that went so high pitched. <laughs> um, and begins fucking dissolving. Oh, do I not get the head? Brilliant. I mean, you can cut off her head. Well, she's dissolving. Yeah, same as all the other ones, from the fingertips and toes first. Yeah, but how how does cutting off thingy stop me from stop me from dissolving? I don't know. Listen, don't question that. This is a fantasy game. <laughs> well, epic. Uh, I'm gonna cut off the head. Well, okay. The head cool. stops dissolving. And then I'm gonna go, huh, money, and then run towards the other vampire who's probably dissolved by now. Yes, they already have. Not revive little bird? <laughs> You're gonna go, oh, huh, money? <laughs> anything to revive little bird with. Oh, yeah. He's gonna drop concentration of polymorph and just take out a potion and just. Yeah, little bird, you're, got it. you're back up. Uh, you get... Oh, eight hit points. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I'll take the eight. Wink. It's good wait, because I've been vomits up some blood. <laughs> it's your own, and a bit of the other people that she's drank. <laughs> oh, I was hoping it would be over. You, we're giving you health potions, and you immediately... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank god, health potions. <laughs> Passes out again. <laughs> Um, you take 1d4 stomach acid damage. What <laughs> can the hell? No. 1d8 after uh, reflux. 1d10. <laughs> oh. Natural. So effect. how are we all doing? Uh, oh. Um, once again, I feel perfectly fine. <laughs> yeah, fuck you too. <laughs> I don't like, know what the word means. You know, Five minutes ago, I thought she was really hot. Like, really, really hot. I was so into it. And then, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, just some feeling came over me. And she's just not my type, you know? <laughs> Meanwhile, Flint's my like, she still is. Give me the head. <laughs> <laughs> oh. no. I just pointed at the hole in Kyrie's ribs. <laughs> me? <laughs> I did that. Look. <laughs> Are you proud of me? Oh, yeah, but... Kyrie's, Kyrie's going to probably congratulate you. <laughs> I think that's we... why she's no longer your type. How many oh. years in the head? We have 10 years in the head. 14 years. Well, 14 years. 12. What do you mean 14? 14 from the last... You cut off a head of a vampire during You've this. You've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 sets of ears, so 12, and the you... head. Didn't you yeah. spend your action during this bit of combat to, to use your second attack to cut off the ears for another vampire? There were, no, it was There were dissolved. seven vampires total. And you got the, the ears of six at my of feet oh, was, okay, The vampire at my feet was dissolved. Yeah, because oh, you okay. killed it and then you went on to attack her rather than harvest the ears. Which, oh, honestly, right, probably you. smart choice there. No, I don't know how she would have felt money. about you murdering our friend and just going, hang on, squatting down in front of her and just... <laughs> <laughs> I fucking did. Uh, yeah, you did. <laughs> Does anyone else need some healing? I have one potion left. I'll be I fine. Think you have more more than one potion left. I don't. What about all, all everything in your set? Your. I have been giving them out to everyone during the fight. I need Just to quickly. sleep. Oh wow. Captain has had two of them. Do you need another one? <laughs> Just pull out my last potion, <laughs> Captain. Just. Flint just nods. <laughs> there you go. I have no potions of healing left. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> can I don't meet around here there's anything I can take as a trophy. There is the big, like, ornamental sword that was stabbed in next to the throne. I'm not sure I can carry that. I'm not sure, you know, they would be okay with you taking the chieftain's sword. Chieftain's probably fucking dead on the table. I mean, yeah, he yes. probably is, yeah. but... I don't think there's any survivors, so... I, I was about to say that, actually. If they're all... Is anyone actually alive in this town? Mm hmm? That's not my problem. Uh, there, there is, like, vials of blood and stuff like that, like, health potion-sized things just filled with blood that you could probably take as a trophy. It was other yeah, people's blood. <laughs> yeah, it's other people. You're like, used to carrying other people's blood at this point. Come on. <laughs> I'm taking them. Fuck it. Yeah, you get... can't be trusted with that. You get th what do you no. mean? <laughs> oh. Oh. You get oh. three bottles of blood. You want to keep the? Should we keep the ears and head in either mine or little bird's bags? 
So they don't I've decompose? Got, I've been putting mine into a little, little bag. Wasn't Kyrie stringing hers on a string to like just hold I on have it on a string, yeah. Well, I have okay, to. I can give the string to someone because I'm carrying the head. Do you want to put the head in my bag and the ears in Little Bird's bag? I think Curry's just very fond of carrying the head at this <laughs> like point. Like a trophy. Yeah. It will very uh, well. start going gross. Oh. You can make a helmet out of it. Yeah, you've got four days in warm heat to carry a head. Will it, will it be fine, Angiria? Oh, I was referring to my... Wait, my I have bag. an idea. Um, Van is going to use shape water to take some of the water in their flask and just uh, surround the, the ears with it and just freeze the water. Yeah. The ears have now got like a dissolve. frosted sheen on them. You've now got frozen ears. Was there a point to this exercise? Oh, God help when that, uh, Harry's not going to be very happy with the body at all. Because <laughs> when that melts, it's going to be water. Would, no, would you rather, well, I can keep them frozen, but would you rather have decomposing rotten ears or just a little with a bit of chill in your neck now? I'm curious how extra dimensional spaces would affect the decomposition of vampiric material. Does anyone know? Dude, just, there's, there's no oxygen, so just, it can't decompose. No, there just is scary. oxygen, but not much of it. Is there okay. anything else in, that's salvageable in this space? Some, like, make... broken weapon heads. You find, like, a couple of silver. Like, right. maybe six silver. Check, please. Yeah. Harry's going to be very sad, but she's going to put the head in the bag. Oh. It's up to you. I'm but just offering yeah. it. A option. Uh, roll your Correct. investigation, Gary, by the way. Uh, 24. Okay, so you don't really find much of worth here, which isn't too bad considering the amount that you'll be making handing these in. Um, but on the actual throne, uh, while you're like kind of looking behind it, you don't notice a small button on the back of it. I just pushed it. <laughs> The seat of the chair lifts up, revealing a small compartment underneath, and inside is... The easiest way I can describe it is a big wizard's hat, but the under rim of it is like an extra dimensional space that just, when worn, will slowly produce water and rain over you. So you can kind of at will now become big gooey if you wish i just <laughs> don't even really acknowledge it too much and just sort of i found a new hat and just put the old hat in my bag and just put the new one on yeah it's kind of got like a starry constellation effect on the inside like where the extra dimensional spaces and the stars do move and provide a, a small amount of light um and you know when you think about it you can make Rain and snow come out of it. Do us that. Do us that. So what is the plan now? Return to... Is there any paint? Paint? Paint. There's there's some wood varnish. Does that work? Are you trying to huff paint? No. no. <laughs> Not yet. No. I was gonna just write the vampires are fucking dead. On the floor in the middle of the town and then leave. I mean, you could do it in blood, to be fair. There's enough corpses We have here. vials of blood, yeah. And there's a lot of corpses here. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think that's kind of... <laughs> we're, not using the, we're not using the people's corpses. I'll say that. No. I don't think that's something the little bird will be into. Should we check for survivors? I guess. You don't Roll initiation. Very... Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Get ready, just that was just one building. Wing. <laughs> um, roll and I suppose we're doing some fucking 24 on investigation. Um, I can roll another if you want. Yeah, I'll roll so, another. Do we, do, you got a 24 on in investigation. I got anyways. a 16. So, it takes you like the better part of an hour, but you do find um, in one of the houses, like a couple of... Underneath a bed, there's some loose floorboards, and you can hear light sobbing underneath it and coughing. The room is 
very smoky from the campfire that's been outside now. Oh, I guess I'll just pry up the floorboards. Uh, there is a young, like, elf boy hiding under there, kind of squished into the corner as far as he can. You can see a couple of pieces of, like, moldy bread around him and an empty water flask and stuff. His cheeks have kind of sunk in a bit. He's very pale. He looks very tired. I'll hold out my water skin and give him one of my rations. He, as soon as you hold it out, just grabs it off you, stuffs the ration into his mouth, coughs, and like a bit of it lands on the floor. And he picks it back up with some dirt and shoves it back into his mouth and just begins chugging this water. You get the impression that he hasn't eaten or drank anything proper in a fair few days. As soon as he's like, you know, finished and... Uh, you know, calm down a little. I'll, I'll hold my hand out to him and, like, help him get out. Um, he grabs onto your hand and kind of shimmies out from underneath the floorboards underneath the bed. Um, uh, he's, how old does he look? Maybe, like, 12. Perhaps just look to everybody else. Maybe we should make sure he doesn't see what's happened. Yeah, he's fine. I already know what's happened. Either way, it's not nice to see corpses. I'm just gonna. Vampire is dead. He kind of points at the blood drag marks on the floor near the door and just. It's. Uh, it's okay. I, I've already seen what they can do. I pull out one of the ears of the vampire and just show it to him, like, dead. You didn't happen to see um, any, any elven corpses out there, did you? Um, Did we? My, my, my mother and father are out there. My, they, they tried to protect me. They told me to hide that. That was over a week ago. Are um, you? Do you have any other family here, or elsewhere? Um, I, I have two sisters, but I'm, I'm not sure where they are. Um. um they're, they're a part of the, the peacekeepers. Oh. Oh, I see. Um, I'm just going to look at him and say, help find people. As he stands uh, up and adjusts himself, you do notice he has got two small bite marks on his neck. Oh. I'm going to get out the uh, holy water hand grenade. I'm just going to, like, wave my hand at everyone else. Like, just calm down. And I'm going to use... Uh, where is it now? life sense uh, uh, because it cannot can, it cannot detect construct elemental or undead it doesn't detect him oh shit oh it's more money whoa I I, I, hmm. I don't think gonna definitely. take his hand and like bring him outside he kind of coughs and splutters at all the smoke and like leans over a fence and just vomits because it smells really strongly yeah. of like charred flesh and stuff. At least he's not hungry. Um, <laughs> Where are we? So what does little bird say to the rest of the group? I don't know. Or indicate. I literally just like wave you off and just like just chill out for a second. Hang on, we'll try and figure out if he's actually alive. Um. Is he having trouble with the... I mean, is it still daytime? I mean, it's yeah, but... Sm- no, it was daytime, but oh, the smoke daytime. was, like, obscuring all the sunlight and stuff. They gonna, purposely like, lit a massive bonfire in the centre of town to obscure the sun. I'm literally just gonna, like, pull him away and try and bring him close. Or, like, to the, to the direction where the tower is. Uh, the hotel. Yeah, as you get towards the outskirts of the town, he's like, I, I don't... Where are you taking me? We didn't look for my parents. You'll be safe. We'll go look. Uh, okay. We have shelter, food, car. You all can look for his parents for a bit. I'll stay with the boy. As you'll um, get out of the sun, you do see him, like, wincing in pain and, like, 
digging his fingers into his palm and you do notice blood dripping out but it doesn't seem to be searing his flesh like it would do a vampire okay you get the impression okay. that this is probably a first generation dampier hmm. can we just sort of leans sort of, I'm guessing are they short what that means. yeah they're like yeah you've met dampiers before yeah, uh... Ten was a dampier. Ten. Ten. I can't remember which fucking number it was. Are you uh, all wanting to search for his parents? I can keep him company while you do so. Well, yeah. We might find more survivors, so... Yeah, um... Idea. I'll just, like, telepathically... Or not even... No, I'll say out, do it out loud, but, like, tell Gibby to... Um... Take him to the hotel, making sure he's fed if he wants to just hang out with the animals that he's fine. Oh, that has not been prepared today. Has it not? No. I was you just let this boy into a field. <laughs> I well, I mean, that means our horse and fucking Otis or whatever the fuck. They're just Otis. out in a field having a good time. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah. I, was uh -oh. I was prepared for combat today. I did not prepare the hotel. Yeah, they're just chilling no in the field. <laughs> This was not specified to me earlier. I would have prepared it if I was told. Yeah. All right. Just, well, just lean down next to the little newborn dampier and say, "Don't worry, I don't like the sun either." And I'm just gonna miss cloak and sort of just like put it over their shoulder and sort of just squat down. And just oh, keep them out is there are any of these buildings like not untouched, but like better off than the rest? They're all about the same. It looks like the vampires wanted to keep the buildings in good condition to kind of turn this as a base. Do any of them not have fucking blood all over them? Not really, no. They, um, they would have asked to be invited in and then just murdered the residents. Can I look for any, like, elves? Elf corpses? Or, like, Roll an investigation. Can I give Milvani a basket and yeah. they can give him the help action? Yep. Oh, yeah. I'll I'll give um the kid two uh, two uh, more of my rations and then mm. um I'll go back and start helping them look. That's okay. a ten for me. Uh it doesn't look like you find any no, but there are a lot of corpses on mm. this campfire at the moment as well. Um, oh, okay. Um Gooey, as the kid sat with you, he kinda of points at the shade in a tree and he goes, maybe over there would be better for us both. Yes, the sun is quite nasty sometimes. Also, beware fairground games. It's so, <laughs> it's so bright. I, maybe I was under the floorboards too long. I don't remember it being this bright. He kind of walks underneath the shade and relaxes a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna return and just say, I couldn't find anyone else or any elves either. Maybe they got out? Maybe. Maybe you can find him again. I hope so. Gooey's going to cast a message to Avani and just say, should we tell him what he is? Um, would Avani know that he's a vampire? I mean, <laughs> you'll know that he's sunlight sensitive. You we may have seen the human. bite marks. Little Bird didn't tell you that they didn't get anything from life sense from them. Yeah. Um... I'll respond to Gooey. I can respond uh, to message, right? Yeah, once. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we should. Um, yes, maybe we should. Van is gonna sort of lean, well, not lean, sort of sit down next to the little boy, and he's actually gonna speak in Elvish. Um, do you remember your father and mother? Were they both elves? Yes. Well, the funny thing about elves is that. Um, they don't have problem with sunlight, so I think you're a bit more special than your father and mother, or at least you think they are. It's only since the bad people came to town that I, I don't like the sun. Oh, I, yeah. I hear them the floorboards, to, so I didn't have to worry about them. That's where father told me to hide. He um, said, just wait there, your sisters will be here soon. They can protect you. So you both 
who your parents were indeed. Elves. Yes. Um, I see, um, you were... Do you remember being attacked or bitten and sort of point towards his uh, two small spots on his neck? He can't really see them, but he like rubs his hand along it. Um, father pulled me away from one of them um, while, while I was sleeping. Well, the thing is... I think you have gotten bit by a creature of the night. I don't really know how to explain it, but... Um, they can infect people sometimes, and I think... Like, oh, like the colds father gets when he works out in the fields too long? Yes, uh, like a disease, but more... not quite a disease. But it can change people sometimes. Is I it, think it is has it changed you. That I can I can take medicine to feel good for? I don't know. Is it? What? Is dampiers? Hmm. I have no, no idea. You're a dampier. You're mm. a dampier, bud. You're just half vampire. Okay. I was just wondering if Gui would even have a, any inkling if that's a thing. Because it's general curiosity. I as mean, well. the prince did talk about dampiers a little bit. Like the reason the black market has got like people that do, you know, unusual meats and stuff, is because there are people like Ten who don't lean into the vampirism side of things, and then there are other people that most definitely do. Oh, so it's more like a range of you can have severe like effects of it, or it's more like minor effects. You, uh, no, 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 no. All, or... all dampiers are the same, oh, but okay. some of them will lean into the more vampire side of stuff and some of them will try and fit into society and stuff like that. Uh, no. But it is more difficult once you've had blood to try and do the fit into society thing because you do get the cravings, just not as intense as a vampire, but you can also eat actual food and stuff, but you do age significantly slower. Mm. Like... Dampiers and vampires don't really die of old age. They die of getting ganked. Either way, you are different now. But we can figure something out. He kind of brushes some of his, like, light blonde hair out of his eyes. And you can see that they're very welled up, very teary. He has now got, like, yellowish eyes. And he kind of goes, I don't want to be different. I just, I just want to be with my mom, and my dad. Starts sobbing, like wiping tears out of his eyes and stuff. We should bring him to the peacekeepers in the capital. Yeah, I think. It's Unless, a good idea. and I sort of look to where Captain is. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Unless. Yes, what? It, he's still got family. Yes, but you also said... And I just put a thumb and just put it across my neck. Yeah, it is money. I didn't do much during that fight. Uh, you know what, I'll just sell the grenade, it's fine. We'll take the kid back with us and make sure that he gets back to his family in Castle. Or at least what Are you, what Are you sure? It would be quite easy. He Hold kind of on, shimmies away of from. Kid on my hand. He, he shimmies away from Gooey a little Listen, bit. My my pride is me. My pride being damaged is worth it for not killing a kid. I was just saying, if if you know I, he, he goes kind of, ah, you know, if he tries to attack you, I, I will kill the child. God. And, shh, don't, don't don't speak in front of him. You you were thinking about killing me? Yeah. Oh, so it's a metaphor. It's a metaphor. It's not a I metaphor. <laughs> not for me. Maybe for you. Oh. You watch as slowly, like, his fingertips, like, the nails on them are coming out slightly. What do you mean you're gonna kill me? You're just like them, aren't you? I put myself in front of him. Like, in the way of everyone else. He kind of grabs onto the back of your cloak and just starts crying into it. You know, Captain, you can be a bad influence sometimes. You're just realizing that. That's an awful pun. Was that a pun? 
I is think it, it is. I thought it was. No. If oh. it is a bad pun, I'm sorry. I thought, I thought Captain had a thing called bad influence or something like that. I have bad oh. reputation. Oh. Bad reputation, yes. Yeah. No. I'm, I'm not sure if my sisters, if I'm different, would they, would they still accept me? That's up to them. I am going... Mm, this is going to freak him the fuck out. But I'm going to say something in one of their voices, because we did talk to them. The, yeah, he did talk to mm. his sisters. Mm. <laughs> Gui almost fucked one of his sisters. So I'm literally going <laughs> to use one of their voices and talk to him. Because but like, I'm going to do is. it while I'm looking him in the eye so he knows that it's me making the noise. You can see his eyes trembling. Uh, so, up uh, tears. Ask, is this your family, I guess? He kind of looks at you, tears welling up. Yeah. We'll take you there. Would, would they accept me still? If they don't, I, I, I know, know that someone who will. I know that the capitals aren't friendly to, to bad people. I know That's that the towns true. don't like them. That's not true. There is a section of the city specifically designed to house undead. Were you all not aware of this fact? No, you didn't tell me. And I, you know what? I didn't hear it. <laughs> no, that was when the uh, Ritterin was saying, Yeah, I'm technically an undead. And Little Bear just walked out. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be surprised how accepting people are. Besides, you're not a bad person. What, what would I even do in the capital? All I know how to do is farm. Farm. So, I'd like to imagine that Kyrie is just fishing through the bodies for elven people. <laughs> I thought you were going to say for gold. <laughs> this kid's oh. crying, no. breaking down, and Kyrie's like, oh, sick, a penny. Well, I mean, if they have gold on them, I will take it. Because. Yeah, They're you not do, gonna fucking use you it. You do find another, like, 20 silver. But, like... Uh, okay, I'm not gonna bother adding that. But, like... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> These are mostly farmers, Breeze. Come yeah, on. But... Yeah, why they're so fucking poor? Do I find... Elvins? Elves? You find... Clothing similar to elven clothing kind of burning up around a corpse on the fire. Oh, it's on the fire. Okay. This is gonna make it difficult because I was gonna say I little brother stay here and bury the body, but can in case any of them got infected. Yeah, I suppose that means you know if you or Flint die now, you can't be buried. I'm gonna get a tattoo that says "Do not bury." Yeah, it's fine. like the do not resuscitate tattoo. Mm. You can cremate you with a little bit of fire, that's fine. Oh, I am going to be burnt on my ship, it's going to be beautiful. <laughs> and tattoo on my forehead, it just says burn me. Um, I guess Insult I'll start... Me. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I'll start, like, moving all the people or the bodies to the fire and, like, try and make a funeral pyre, essentially. Mm -hmm. I mean, I moving the kid far away. Yeah, probably. I uh, mean, we should probably bring him back before we light him. We'll let him, you know, mourn. Mourn. What does Grief. death mean? Oh, well, it's, um... You know all those bandits you killed? Yeah, it's what their families did. Or <laughs> he's just gonna feed a plate to Chrome. Just gonna pull Chrome out of their body. Oh, how is Chrome doing, actually? Yes. Yeah. Chrome's fine. Uh, he's not... You said he's he wasn't hot. Chrome is struggling to hold his form. The dog he's, is dead. He's still a dog, but he is most definitely struggling to hold his form and is not making noise. Really, can can you repair, uh, help, heal, Chrome? Is that possible? I don't know how you how you work as a living being. To, to, I don't to be honest. know. Mm. 
There has to be some kind of expert on how you lot work. How a farm. Did... There must be a croissant somewhere. <laughs> how, how did Chrome... They shouldn't have been in the... They weren't in the fight. So how did... Well, croissants aren't exactly... <laughs> I can tell you when, you need to know yeah. when. It's when a certain first world attack you're alone and then split it in half, I guess. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Got I have done nothing good this fight, swear to god. Oh. He's just got a cradle of chrome. Yeah. <laughs> Hold them like a baby over their shoulder and just... No. They kind so of there's... mesh into each other a little bit. Almost like a poor animal. So it would seem that my species is dying. That is unfortunate. I think it's thriving. I mean, it was fine without a core earlier. What does that mean? You just take it out and give it a new one, right? If I ripped out your heart and put a new one in, would that work? Listen, yes. Chrome didn't have a heart until you put the croissant in there. That is not a sentence I thought I'd be saying today, but here we are. Are you saying that Chrome, as a species, did not have any personality or free will? It was sentient Until the when croissant. you got it in the bucket, <laughs> you know, it was making little hands towards you. Well, this could have been... is making me very angry, Captain <laughs> Captain, it could have been hibernating. You don't know. I don't no. know either, but you know, <laughs> we don't know <laughs> shit about out. anything. <laughs> I'm experiencing minor murderous intent. I'm going to move away from you all now. <laughs> Flynn is like, yeah, rip the heart out the dog. Kill the child. Fuck it. Yeah, what do I Gooey, care? Gooey is now just holding back and just like walking away from the little bird just coughs up his blood. Like, can any of you help me move these bodies? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Perry's like putting the bodies next to the bonfire. Just yeah. the three of them stood in the middle of the town. Like, can, can any of you? You kind of walk through them, dragging a body like motherfuckers. Uh, you do spot a Kenku corpse among these. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> oh, oh, why? Um, I... As you're dragging them, a little notebook falls out. I'm going to pick up the notebook, put it in my pack, and I'm going to take their corpse to one side. And... Oh, special treatment. That's... <laughs> yeah. I there aren't a lot of us left. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, I want to inspect their body, make sure they haven't been killed. Uh... You know bird anatomy best, so you know, like, where to yeah. look for that kind of stuff. But they don't appear to have any bite marks on them, but they are wearing a little, like, silver necklace with a little, like, silver crow foot on it. Ugh. Okay, well, I guess, like, they get the proper burial right. I don't know, um... I don't know what else to do. I'm guessing I'm checking the rest of the bodies in case they have bite marks. I mean, yeah, I'm assuming that ones with bite marks go on the fire, ones without yes. don't, yeah. Mm, yeah. After the better part of an hour, it seems like most of the town had bite marks, but there were maybe like six or seven that didn't. The ones that didn't will bury in. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, A lot of people would have been dead. The one is going to help its bodies as well. Yeah, it takes the better part of an hour. Uh, the sun is slowly beginning to set now. Kind of, the mist is very, very, or like the smoke is very, very thick. The smell is very, very strong. Um, the the elfin boy has kind of got a bit of cloth and like tied it around his face to like cover his nose and mouth and stuff like that. I'm assuming most of you have done it as well. Yeah. Uh, so that you're not no. inhaling people. But Gooey's just like catching it out the air like mm, nutrients. <laughs> Crispy. Yeah, Gooey's no problem with the smoke and doesn't need to breathe. They're fine. They're just gonna chill and try and just cradle their dog that's now dying. It's still alive. It's just got two separate half fucking croissants in it. Of course now. Oh. Mm. As, just do my doses. <laughs> as the uh, the sun begins to set and you're cradling Chrome, he kind of steals a little bit of your goo and you watch as almost like a darker goo band-aid kind of seals around the croissant holding the two bits in like twine 
and he, he stops quivering as much and like relaxes a little bit and then kind of just migrates back into your body. The croissant is now being held together with a piece of your goo. Oh. Now that's, um... Maybe the real dog was the love we found along the way. <laughs> the dog? What? <laughs> what the dog doing? The dog be dying until oh. a few seconds ago. Is there anything else you all want to do? The dog's dying again. Yeah. The, 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 the cripple attack. <laughs> no. uh, have we sorted out the bodies? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Van is gonna just do a small prayer before leaving. This is uh, just a big massacre. Yeah. Is that your prayer? <laughs> no, just no, puts his hands together. Changing. Fucking big massacre, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I pray massive. for a big massacre. <laughs> big ups to G-Man in the sky. You really fucked it this time, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so shall we return to the capital? Yes. Horse noises are not. I've kind of came up to the, the town at this point. It seems like Otto just wants to graze, but Striker is kind of nudging him along. Striker knows roundabouts where you guys are. He's a smart horse. Otto is not so smart, so he, he keeps being pushed along. But they're, they're both there, kind of, cart in tow. Striker looking rather proud. It's like holding his head up and looking at Little Bird like, you know I want a treat. <laughs> I don't think uh, you give me a treat. I mean, I do have a pocket full of berries. You do have yeah. At all times. <laughs> yeah. Berries and moss, berries and moss. I will give him some berries. He quite happily chomps on the berries and looks very proud of himself. Of course he fucking does. <laughs> is the kid coming in the... Um, in the yeah. carriage or is he sitting on the go? I mean, it's going to take you all about four days to get back to the he town. He should definitely so. sit in the cart. Probably. Is there um, even enough room in the cart? You can sit on one of our For a 12-year-old child, probably. One of you can fucking budge off. All of you are sat on a bench and he's laid in the middle just sobbing. <laughs> oh, no. Being beaten around by all the random crap you've got in the back of the car. It's like when there's not enough room in the back of the van and you kind of have to like sit on the floor. <laughs> As the van's bombing along at like fucking 90 on a motorway. <laughs> have you been in the car with my dad? <laughs> yeah! No, I mean, we'll take the kid, He'll, he can sit in the car, and if someone else needs to sit up front with me, then I'm sure there's space. He kind of reaches into his pocket as you all are on your way, and pulls out a small bag, and holds it out to you all. And fa father gave me this, um, as, as a thank you, I, I want you guys to have it for looking after me. I, like, come back in and take, or like, Turn around to take it? Yeah. What is it? It's like three silver, twenty copper, and a small ring. With like a small I... gem pressed into it. You get the impression it's a wedding ring. I drop twenty gold in it. And give it back. Uh, are you sure that that's a lot of money? I'm, I'm trying to give this to you as a thank you. Father said, always be thankful to kind strangers. You can thank us, we do not need money. You need to live. Okay. Th thank you. Um, I you kind of looks famous, around awkwardly like, I don't actually know any of your names. My name's Kyrie. It's all you get. <laughs> it's all you're getting. Little bird. Or, I just make the fucking noise of just people sh selling shit at market. My name's... But, or... uh, my, my name's Aylmer. Aylmer? A-I-L-M-E-R. Ah. Uh, who are you three? And he kind of gestures at everyone else sat on the bench. <laughs> well, my name is Avani. Avani Imber. It's nice to meet you. I don't know if I'm being mean to this kid or not. Jesus Christ, guys, I could scare the little be mean to the child. Flynn has a vendor for no reason, and I'm sorry. Say your name. Do I be mean to this kid? Just say your name. No. 
Flint just Kyrie says point. riding on it all alongside, like lifting up the sheet behind Flint, like, say it. <laughs> Otto's head comes in, just stares at Flint. No. <laughs> Otto, Otto's, Otto's fucking face turns to Mori and goes, say it. <laughs> uh, Are you not going to introduce yourself, Flint? Flint. Nice to meet you. Don't say it. Don't say my name. You're not allowed to. Oh. I don't want to hear it from you. Be nice. No. Don't my worry. My father yes, always said that... pirates are <clears throat> bastards. Oh. Oh. oh! oh, you want to start shit? <laughs> you have no idea. I, I get up to this fucking kid's face. So I'm sorry <laughs> hey, every kid uh, you introduce. I need you to roll a save. <laughs> <laughs> what kind? Uh, with them. Three minus one. <laughs> Eight. Is and you drop down to the ground. Oh, okay. He kind of chuckles a little bit. You guys are funny. And he kind of Is... looks at Gui. What, what's your name? Which one do you mean? The, the name you were given by your, by your parents. I don't have parents. Is Flint your dad? I have been named by Flint. My parents didn't give me my name. I just pull Chrome out. Of, I'm sorry. Just, just pull nope. Chrome out of my chest and say, "This is Chrome." He kind of puts his hand on Chrome and it sinks in a little bit. Why? Why is there a bakery product inside him? <laughs> why is there blood and veins inside you? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Got real and none of you be normal around a fucking child. I was about to say, do not show. <laughs> he has right. a very bad charisma and disadvantage <laughs> on everything socially. Yeah. This is really. He kind of looks at you awkwardly. He's like, I I'm gonna call you Slimer if that's okay. Hell no! <laughs> no. No, I don't think it actually is copyright wise. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna call you Goomer. <laughs> Gooey shows, no. shows the croissant dog to the hungry child. No, the child's <laughs> eaten now. Okay. Bye, yeah, Gooey. You're right. <laughs> yeah. Your communication stone goes off. I answer it. Brother, is that you? Oh, in there. Is this on speaker stone? Um, I love that. <laughs> so. <laughs> you know what? I'll, I'll put it on speaker stone. He kind of yes. looks a bit, the kid looks a bit baffled, he's like, How are you doing that? Who is that? <laughs> sure, <laughs> How sure, can they hear sure, me? Sure, 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 sure. <laughs> Brother, we're, we're on a boat now. And you hear, like, you, what sounds like wind washing past the thing, and then just blasting wind hitting it. Um, we're currently uh, heading towards uh, Tria at the moment. Um, Ozak's asleep at the moment, and Zatish isn't doing too great. Ooh. Excuse me. We are en route. Ah, oh, that's, that's good to hear. Uh, when will you be back? Uh, we estimate about two weeks. That's time to kill a bar hack. Sweet, okay. Oh, that's, that's great to hear. Um, I hope it's gonna be smooth ride. Uh, how's the dish doing? What's exactly wrong with her? That doesn't sound good. Um... Well... On the way to the boat, we were attacked by a load of bandits. And we kind of got separated. Uh, it's why it oh. took us an extra day. And when we found Zatish, she, she really wasn't doing good. Oh no, poor Zatish. She's missing an eye now. Oh. Oh, sick. We we don't know why they took it, but that is all they took. Slightly disturbing. Right. Um, is, mm. Right. Does that sequence of events do anything for Gooey? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It triggers some primal memories in you. Mm hmm. And mm -hmm. we will get to that next session. I hope you've enjoyed, both viewers and listeners, and we'll catch you all next Monday.